women, men, youth and political leaders gathered at the DRC informal settlement to mark International Women's Day. Deputy Minister of Gender Equality, Poverty, Eradication and Child Welfare pointed out that a lot has been achieved in addressing gender equality, including a rise in the number of women occupying political leadership positions. However, Bernadette Yacher says that a gender-responsive approach to innovation, technology and digital education should be adopted to increase awareness of women's rights. Unfortunately, the opportunities of the digital revolution also present a risk of perpetuating existing patterns of gender inequality and violence against women and children. Growing inequalities are becoming increasingly evident in the context of digital skills and access to technologies, with women being left behind as the result of this digital gender divide. The use of online platforms to threaten violence against women and girls, including non-consensual sharing of images or material that otherwise lead to physical or sexual abuse, are worrisome. The police deputy inspector general says the force is thus receiving training on how to investigate cases of such nature. Online violence, like all other forms of gender-based violence, is seriously underreported. It is further evident that most of the cases picked up on the social media, the victims hardly seek the intervention of law enforcement, as most of them choose to seek counseling, uh, counseling as a measure of healing from the brutal exposure, humiliation, and embarrassment. The UN resident coordinator stressed that women are underrepresented in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Women's progress in scientific careers, inequalities, discrimination continues to thwart their potential. Women make up under a third of the workplace or workforce across science, technology, engineering, and maths and even less in cutting-edge fields. The Sustainable Development Goals need a strong science base and cannot be accomplished without girls and women. It is critical to strive to ensure both quality parity in science. 